Okay, so in this video, we're taking up the exponential function and its inverse homework sheet. Uh, so the first question asks us which of the following, which of the following is an exponential function? I explain how you know. So the first table is not an exponential function because if you find the first differences and you check if there's a common ratio, there isn't. So you can do the math, but there is no common ratio between successive first difference values. But I show you in the second table, there is clearly a common ratio. So uh, this represents an exponential function. I write an equation, I just looked at the y values and I built the equation. Uh, they're all powers of five, so uh, that's how I came up with y equals five to the x. For question two, it says match the graph with its inverse. So this one, uh, the easiest one is C. Matching C, it has to be uh, graph number two because um, for C, we're working with an exponential decay function. So I looked at a log, I was looking for a logarithmic function which was decreasing over its domain. And, and two is the only choice because A and B are exponential growth. Um, and for A and B, I've, I just looked at the intercepts and, uh, or I looked at the y-intercept of the exponential function and then I took the inverse of that point and I matched it up. So if you do that, then graph A will match with graph 3 and graph B will match with graph 1. Uh, I built, I know the scaling wasn't very pretty and I just built the equations. Um, but if they're a little off, that's okay. Like for example, one third to the power of X, that's really hard to see from the graph. So uh, it's okay if, if you got like, I don't know, let's say half to the power of X. Uh, for question three, that's basically what we did in the, in the handout. So just, you need to know the key properties of, uh, exponential functions because that will help you identify the key properties of a logarithmic function. They're very much related. They're inverses, they're inverses of each other. Uh, and because the big focus in this unit is on logarithmic functions, it's really beneficial for you to master exponential functions. Once again, review it, and then you'll be able to uh, identify the properties of logarithmic functions with no problem. Okay, so very um, straightforward and hopefully simple uh, homework sheet.